Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another object competition video but before we get on to today's competition guys like always we need to go over the results of the previous competition and that was the Gleaser 504B competition so from two weeks ago uh, now as of making this video so looking at the results here it looks like the Munich's done it again he has taken another victory with 14 votes uh, second place I think we had Chris at 9 votes and they obliterated everyone uh, miles ahead of the field so anyways the winning object was this one here uh there we are so that was one of the uh crazy crazy amounts of bands which one was chris's one um ah yeah it was the dark purple one. so that was second place and yeah this one and munich they just obliterated the entire field so yeah congrats to uh those guys and yeah demunich is now a uh and now a six-time competition winner i think so yeah pretty uh pretty good very nice indeed so yeah pretty cool stuff but anyways yeah with that all said and done again a massive thank you to everyone who participated in the last competition and with that all said and done let's move on to today's competition okay everyone so moving on to today's competition we are going to be doing a chlorine planet competition so without further ado let's see what you guys have prepared for us so Let's go ahead and scroll down like always. Okay, where are we? So we go to the comment. Oh, hello. Right. We've got a lot of greens and we have a lot of submissions today. Check this out. We almost have a whole like, half a row here of stuff. So first up, we have got Chris's planet here. So let's go ahead and spawn it in. Whoa. Oh, it's spinning fast here. Let's uh, pause down. Right. So Chris, let's see where is he uh, got a description. Oh, he's got a big description. Okay. So, planet, this is uh, Antraeus. Hope I'm saying that right. Atmosphere, colour, beige like. Composition is 65% chlorine, 18% nitrogen dioxide, 11% hydrogen, 3.9% helium, 0.87% neon, carbon dioxide 0.13%, and noble gases 0.10%. Atmosphere conditions polar regions, humid, equator, arid, more frequent storms, plant life. Uh, main colours, blue, green, red, brown, purple or and black. Plant life environment, swamps, oceans, inland lakes and seas. Animals, bioluminescent living algae and bioluminescent sea sponges. Take a good look at the surface and the night side as there are some interesting parts. Cool. And it was quite a large file. This this was a thousand kilobytes, this file. So quite a, quite a big file. And there it is, glowing. So that's that algae he was talking about on the... Uh, Chlorine. Well, let's uh, just uh, have an. Ah, there you go. It's a bit more, a uh, bit more glowing action there. Okay, looking good. Nice. Let's have a little look underneath the uh, the thicker clouds and atmosphere as well. So there you go. What the heck? That is very crazy. <laughs> oh my god. That's one of our Saturn's moons textures by the looks of it. Or oh, it was. That's really wild. Look at the atmosphere in the clouds really sort of make it look different. But yeah, there it is. Nice. Cool. Alright, so yeah, there is Chris's world. So there's the first planet of the day. Okay, next up we have got... So this is from Flaming Hot 7. So I believe this is his first submission. So welcome to the object competitions. So... And yeah, welcome. Right, so Chlorine Planet. So, as we can see, very green. So, my first object submission, he's not put any description. So, here it is. Let's have a little look underneath as well. So, very green, as you'd expect from Chlorine. Yeah, I wouldn't have a cool background for this uh, competition as well. The gr like, the green and, like, cyan blue. I thought it was quite a cool look. But, yeah, there it is there. So, we've got, obviously, very green oceans of Chlorine there. So, I'm not sure you'd want to go in there. Got some polar caps as well. Land is pretty, uh, pretty rocky, obviously. No grass or anything by the looks of it. So, there it is. Okay. Cool. Right, next up, we have got... Who's this one? So this is... Can I, can I select it, please? So this is... Future Cosmonauts. So let's see what they have prepared for us here. Whoa. It's looking pretty funky. Okay, so let's see where their submission is. Um, I hope this um this is the object and not a simulation I made it in. No, it's definitely the object. Um, cool. I sacrificed a beautiful spring afternoon to make this. 
Uh, my planet has a dense, humid, dark green atmosphere and huge craters all varying in appearance with ripple-like structures in about half of them. Each crater is flooded with thin layers of chlorine-rich oceans with more chlorine than all of the Earth's indoor Olympic-sized swimming pools combined, which is about... Uh, this probably more I'd say uh, okay, I don't really understand what you put there uh, my planet has a mass of about 1.5 times the mass of earth and has violet sand dunes on its plain lands with seeds or sheets of chlorine salt submerged under the sandy terrain Buratic acid commonly um, so it precipitates high in the atmosphere forming thick clouds of the stuff was a good description of what Vote for fu vote for future cosmonaut. <laughs> so I've never actually seen one ask themselves to be voted for in that description, but there you go. Maybe that's a new tactic. Um, right, so there it is. Whoa. I do like the craters. They do look pretty cool. It's pretty funky stuff. So there you go. Very green atmosphere. The clouds, the purple clouds, or the green clouds, I should say, look really cool. And then obviously the atmosphere on top of it as well. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see green as a very common colour today. Right, next up we have got Minor Bats Planet. Let's go ahead and see what they have prepared for us here. Okay. So we've got green oceans once more. Did they give us any description? Let's see if I can find them. We've got a lot of submissions today as well. So yeah, massive thank you to everyone. Okay, so Minor Bat says, This is a planet with lots of chlorine in its oceans and atmosphere. Simple life has evolved that does a process similar to photosynthesis but with chlorine. The planet is quite far back from its star so not much light reaches its temperature. Uh, or its temperature is low. The plants are black to collect as much energy as possible. In areas where plants don't go red, sand deserts are visible. Native life here is relatively simple, but the planet has been colonized by an alien species. Cool. So I think I can see the red sand he was already on about in the desert areas. So there is a good look underneath. So you can see the black areas are dark, uh, or blacked out plants for photosynthesis. So yeah, quite an interesting uh, design. Got also got some city lights to boot with it as well. Very nice. That's quite a good shade of green he's picked for the water there. That does look quite cool. So there it is. Okay. Next up we have got... This is Zane Bees. So let's go ahead and spawn it in. Very small. Right. Okay. So Zane Bee. Let's see what they're prepared for us. So his description is just a planet covered in chlorine. So there it is. So have a little look underneath as well. So I'll see the darker green... Uh, Color scheme of it, a lot more uh, ocean heavy as well with the chlorine oceans. Okay, and then clouds, atmosphere on top. Cool. Right, next up we have got. So this is ND's chlorine planet. Let's go ahead and spawn that in there. Oh, very, very green, very funky green. Whoa. Okay, uh, did they give us any description? Let's see. Where are we? I googled chlorine planet and I based this off an image so I got it as realistic as I could get. There is life on this planet as you can tell by the city lights on the night side. Look under the atmosphere and clouds, it has green chlorine atmosphere with oceans and clouds of hydrochloric acid. Very cool. Okay, looking behind, you can see the city lights there, you can see some storm clouds as well. Our background is kind of lighting up the back of the uh, planets a bit but there's a good look of it all. So yeah, very very funky green, very nice indeed. Get a full look of it uh, all the way around as well. There it is, okay. So very green. Nice. Looking good. Okay. Next up we have got... So we've got Comp. So Nexi's 78C. So I think this is a new user as well who's uh, submitted uh, one for this competition. So... I know this is submitted by the user Mu, so yeah, they are a new user. I don't think they just they just didn't put their name. Remember to put your names in the objects just so we know whose is whose. Um, so here it is here. So their planet is named Nexi78C, and yeah, this was submitted by the user Mu. This planet is called Nexi78C and is unusual because even though the water is lovely and fresh, the land is full of chlorine. In the year 2066, astronomers found this planet to be... Uh, 19,800 light years away and it was discovered on the edge of the Milky Way. It's believed to be 2 million years old, um, we, or 2 billion years old, sorry, and we don't know for sure what type of sun it orbits around. It is believed to have a very rare ore around most of the planet called chlorine. 
and uh, makes the discovery of the world really interesting. The temperature of the surface is a bit cold, but not too close to mega freezing. It has a two day cycle period in the atmosphere. It's a hazy color yellow because the effect is caused by um, the chlorine on land. As the chlorine gets loaded over the land, it evaporates into the air and thickens the atmosphere. In a million years or so, you will not be able to see the planet clear enough as the atmosphere will be very yellow all around, but until now, it has a good chance to have life on it, but probably only in the water, okay? So it's got water and chlorine on the same uh, same planet here, right? So there it is. So yeah, very, very green chlorine look. And then also uh, nice blue oceans. Cool. So there it is there. So next up, we have got compact stars at submission. So let's go ahead and spawn that in here. Okay, so we've got a much thicker looking atmosphere world here. Okay. All right, so compact star. Let's see. Where's that description? Where is it? Um, da, 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 da. Lot of submissions here, so I'm just trying to find it. Okay. Also view this planet without the atmosphere because it has very thick clouds. But okay. This is Orta, a small terrestrial planet somewhat between the size of Mars and Venus, orbiting an M-type main sequence star. Its atmosphere is extremely thick and has a composition similar to Earth's, but has a higher chlorine content that would be lethal for humans. It is shrouded by an opaque layer of highly reflective clouds of hydrochloric acid. Orta orbits quite far away from its star, but still maintains a temperature of around freezing because of the heat retained by the atmosphere. There exist small lakes of cold water and ice on the planet where chlorine-resistant microbial life, as well as small tribe-like aquatic organisms live. Nice. So here it is underneath. Okay, whoa. Oh, well, city lights as well, very nice. So we've got thick clouds, a very thick atmosphere as well. Okay, nice. So there it is. Okay, moving on. Next up we have got the Moonix object. Okay, let's go ahead and spawn it in. So here we go. Right, so let's see what he has put for us here. Roof is a very young terrestrial planet characteristic for being abnormally rich in sulfur and chlorine compounds. The abundance of these elements tint the clouds, atmosphere, surface and the seas of the planet yellow, green and even the red, orange red tones in some places. The planet is quite warm with an average temperature of 89 degrees Celsius. The atmosphere is quite thick and dense with a pressure of 19 atm. Even though it is an extremely harsh place to humans or any living thing on Earth, Roof has developed a, a simple unicellular life forms that thrive on the planet's oceans. The seas of Roof are not very deep and are very dark um, and green. Um, in part because of sulfur and chlorine, mostly because they are saturated with extremely primitive photosynthesis bacteria. Nice. Um, let's have a little look underneath as well. So there it is. There, so you can see the darker red areas he was on about as well. The craters do look pretty cool as well, I have to say. So a lot of ocean in the north, more land in the south. Cool. So there it is. There. So that's the Munich's world. Nice. Next up, we have got. Okay, so this is also a. I believe this is also a new user. So this is Saf Phoenix. So let me just go to their submissions here. So this is uh, Sarah Phileas. So that's this object here. Okay. So, um, known as E. Pra, pra v or Claw Pra the second. It orbits a binary pair of yellow dwarf um, and an orange dwarf. Um, though its system is 6.7 billion years old, a, two, a full 2.1 billion years older than Earth, it has no native intelligent species. It is believed that chlorine may have hindered the development of life forms. Um, its skies are lime green due to the presence of chlorine and its double sunsets are purple since the yellow and green sky has mostly been absorbed by the chlorine. The, the clouds and oceans are made of a dilute solution of hydrochloric acid and various oxides of chlorine and uh, hypochlorous, chlorous, chloric and uh, perchloric acids. This means that life forms on Cephrella are acid resistant and free metals such as gold are rare to find. Um, and its system is a designated protective system. Nobody is allowed to harvest anything from it or build anything on it. It's like a national park system. Okay. It's a Mars-sized moon with a thin chlorine atmosphere called uh, Rolissa. So, going back to that, that is the moon there. So, that moon will sit with that there. Nice. So, we've got a little moon submission to uh, go with it as well. Cool. Right, so we've got those guys together there. Uh, next up, we have got Xeonauts planet. Let's go ahead and put that one in here. Definitely the most blue. Oh, that's the most blue planet by far. Right, okay. Cool. 
Right, so. So, you know what, let's see. Description. Where are we? Oh, oh, okay. We've got something interesting here. So, Verus Aqua is named after the green colour of the water. It was accidentally discovered when a scientist looking through a telescope thought it was a booger on the screen. <laughs> discovered by humans, the system is the Sata Lorian system. Galaxy is ARP 147. Life, it has glowing trees and a variety of alien animals. Okay. Rings, no. Now, he sent a special sound file for us to take a listen to of the sounds of Virus. So, what I'll do is I'll turn it down the... I'll turn off the Universe Sandbox Audio. So, we'll switch that off. So, just my voice now. Hope I don't get too boring. Um, and then I'm going to turn up our desktop audio on my recording software here. Then I'm going to go into Discord. And let's play it. So, uh, let me just find it. Okay, right. Are we ready? Let's press play. There we go. What do you think of that? That's pretty cool. That is really cool. Hope you like the little cinematic shots I did there as well. Yeah, that that's really cool. Um, let's put the let's put our audio back on as well. There we go. But yeah, that's that's cool. I like it. It's cool when we have um little sound sticks. I remember Anonymous did it um a few while a few um episodes back where he added some like custom uh, audio to go with his planets. Yeah, really cool. I like that idea. Keep doing those stuff, guys. That's that's really cool. Um, anyways, moving on. So next up, we've got WBs, and this is the final submission today. It's tinted as well. Okay, so WBs object. So let's see what he has got for us here. Right. So, Neret is a young exoplanet located in the constellation of Gemini. Although its light reaching from the star is too dim to be seen with the naked eye, the exoplanet is known is what's known as a chlorine planet, a hypothetical class of planet where its surface is covered in lakes and oceans of hydrochloric acid. Sorry if this planet looks like an eyesore. I'm still experimenting with modern atmospheres and tints. Ah, okay. Well, I like a bit of tint, I have to say. So there it is there. Got some uh, clouds as well. Let's have a little look uh, underneath as well. So it looks to be mostly ocean. But it's got that tinted ocean. So it's a very, very heavy ocean world. So a pl a basically, a full, instead of being an all-water world, we've got an all-chlorine world. So pretty cool. And the atmosphere tint, or the tint of the object in general, does look pretty cool with the, uh, with the oceans as well. So there you go. So that is WB's uh, object. But okay, everyone. So a quick hello from the future. I'm filming this probably about uh, I don't know few, three, three, four hours after um, I filmed the initial video. But yeah, I, I messed up again. I didn't include one of the objects. So yeah, massive apology to um, Kerbal here for not including his object. Um, I don't know how I did, how I missed it because I always download them in order. I must have jumped a line. Um, or something along the lines of that. So yeah, massive apologies to him for not including this object in the initial recording. But anyways, here it is. So we'll go ahead and uh, check it out and I'll edit this in somehow um, to the video. But yeah, here is his object. So as we can see, it is Venusy atmosphere thick. Very, very thick atmosphere. As we can see, a gorgeous looking lime green as well. I really do like the whole way that looks. So let's have a little look underneath. So very strong atmosphere. It looks like it's modded actually. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if we look underneath, whoa. Oh, that's definitely modded, all right. Oh, he's gone all in. Okay, this could be a late submission that goes all the way to victory for all we know. This one is pretty cool looking. Look how much it glows. Damn, that's that's really cool. So atmosphere on top, clouds of it as well. Oh, the clouds are really thick. Look at the clouds. So there we go. Look at the, let's look at the coverage options. I'm guessing they're... Yeah, they're higher than normal, look. So they've been modded with 
Okay, that is pretty awesome. So, yeah, there is his object. So, yeah, again, a massive uh, apologies to Kerbal there for uh, not including his object in the initial recording. But, yeah, with that object all included now, we can um, put this video to a wrap. So, take it over, me from the past. There we are. So, with that all said and done, that is every single submission we have got. So, look at this lineup here. It's a very unique list of stuff. Uh, let me just go ahead and remove that moon for now as well. Okay, so let's get the full lineup. So, here we are. So, as you can see, green, I'm not surprised, is the most dominant color by far. We've got a lot of yellows in there as well. So, green and yellow is obviously the popular color here. But then we also have the ones that stick out, like Xeonaut's blue planet. And then we have Chris's like more cream colored planet at the end as well. So, pretty cool stuff. Very nice list of uh, objects indeed. And yeah, a massive uh, thank you to everyone who participated in this competition. I think this will be a closer one. I think all the objects are quite close together with appearance and um, stuff. And I thought all the descriptions are really cool. A lot of people were using the same sort of acids and stuff on their planets in their descriptions as well. So it's a very similar, a lot of very, very similar stuff in this competition. So yeah, good luck to um, everyone who uh, submitted. So once more, we'll go through all of the objects. So at the front here, we have Chris's one, the largest of them all. Then we had Minor Bats. Then we had Endy's one, that was a nice lime green on there. Then we had Flaming Hot 7's object, with the darker green. Then we had uh, this one here, so this was submitted by... Yeah, and please remember to put your names in future objects. So that was from the user Mew. Then we had this one here, so this was... Um, let's put labels on. Um, oi, so this was... Uh, future Cosmonauts, that's it, Future Cosmonauts. Uh, then we have this one here. Sarah Philia. Um, which one was this? This was... Yeah, please remember to put your names in the names, guys. Otherwise, I will get so confused. So that was uh, South Phoenix's one, yeah. Um, and then next up, we had WB's uh, yellow one here, which we just checked out. Then we had the Munich object down here with that pretty cool custom surface. Then we had Compact Stars one here. Then we had Zeonauts one with his custom audio file. Really, really nice stuff indeed there. Really did like that. And then lastly, we have Zane B's Chlorine Planet at the end here, the smallest of the bunch. So there we are, guys. Again, a massive thank you to everyone who has submitted as well. Really, really appreciate it. It was a good fun. This was a good one. So, yeah, really cool stuff indeed. Yeah, how many did we have? So we had 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 submissions. Look at that. That's got to be one of the all-time highs. So, yeah, massive thank you to everyone who's participated. It's a lot of fun doing these. And with that all said and done, Obviously, good luck to everyone in the voting, but stay tuned for the next competition. We'll have a spooky theme to it coming out on the 31st. So, with that, we'll send down, guys. A massive thank you for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. And, yeah, if you want to take part in the voting, make sure to join my Discord server in the link in the description. And, yeah, good luck to um, everyone. And, yeah, with that, we'll send down. That's enough from me. So, see you later, guys. Have a good one. Goodbye.